Okay, welcome to the system. We are now again on the virtual box. I have been make, making some tuning, a little bit wallpaper, uh, this areola. And as you see, this conky here on the side is not transparent, neither is our terminal. If we go inside it, uh, we probably, uh, if not probably, but surely we are missing something. So, made tweak. We have uh, only these two, Marco Software Compositor and No Compositor. We're gonna look for Compton, that's what we're gonna do. Packer Compton and take a look what we have. So, look at the beta version, look at how many likes, there's a number in between brackets in the back and uh, decide what thing you will install. There's also a graphical configuration tool for Compton X Composite number 3. You can toggle it off and on on a tray. So let's go for the one that everybody is using. Everything is voting for. Anyway, using is something else. Voting for. And install the Compton. Do you want to edit? No. Do your thing. Hopefully it just works out of the box. In the meantime you see variety working here. Changing my wallpapers, Compton is active. Question is, will we see it straight away? Or do we need to log off log on again let's uh, do a uh, complete restart in our virtual machine and this is gdm Let's see if something happened. Not yet, so we need to be able to select it here. That's uh, an issue we're having now. Um, what we could we do in the meantime? Don't think so. So let's let's go go and get this uh, other program. That's uh, might be the most the best way to approach it. You saw there is a the graphical configuration tool. We press two. Yes. Nope. Yes. There we are. Let's go look where it is. Mm -hmm. Window effects, special effects. Looks great. Nice interface, this first time I see it. I usually go to the Compton.com file and edit my stuff there. But it's more or less, I see th things coming back. So that's uh, interesting to see. It's also a possibility to have it that way. Um, so again, still we need to have something available here. Um, let me check. Okay, so um, we're gonna do it in different steps. We are going to figure this out later, but what we're gonna do, Compton is installed, but Compton is not started. 
let's go to the internet and you could in fact check out the internet the internet is big but if you know what you need later my friends I need the content.com file and in github for instance you can go and look for different kind of github files and this one is actually not bad I've installed it on uh, I don't know where it was i3 or so and then you copy paste everything like so copy and you try and you go to the config file which is hidden console h so the dot config here is already a content conf now and you open it and you copy paste your code inside and then you have the content conf uh, installation Control A, delete, Control B. Now it's coming from the net. Save. And now we need to activate Compton. So we see through the conkey here. Uh, activating it is possible. Let's try personal startup applications. Add. It's called Compton. And we just type Compton. We add it. And next time we reboot. Reboot probably not log off. Gonna try a reboot. Might work with log off. Not sure. But it's a tutorial, so I wanna be sure. And now Compton is um, starting up and it's going to look for his config file. And the config file is on the place where it's supposed to be, and it's the name it's supposed to be. So I'm waiting for the computer to appear and maybe it is not loading standard that's possible that we have not yet added it as well to our aha it's working already why do i say aha because of the terminal terminal is already as you can see um, com key is already transparent question is let's move out the way Question is, let's take another wallpaper. Yes, so is our conkey. So that's been dealt with. We have actually now a transparent kind of look on our system. And if we have a folder, but then I need something light. Let's take the wallpaper selector. Don't have many light ones. Maybe this is a light one. And then we might be able to see that there's also a little shadow behind it as you can see a small shadow the thing remains i think let's have a look is it now look at the the nice menu this now also transparent but i think we we solved the problem that's not the issue the question is do i want it to really appear here as well can i do it i don't know uh, probably where's this setting i don't know I have, we have to look for it but anyway um it it works so it's um i think it's an improvement it is a bit uh, transparent so if you if you see when you unselect it when it's not active it's really transparent so these little figures uh, are in here in the content com file and we saw here that we have this little program installed that might help us do the trick so these things do help to have a uh, graphical user interface but with right mouse click open with sublime text 3d development we scroll up and down and with some patience you can read where it's about shadows it's all about shadows and this is about opacity and how much opacity so if i say nine five i think i always take it's not that it's transparent but it's not that transparent and 0.9 i think so anyway it's just changing some figures and then re well let's do a log off now rather than a restart and i guess he'll take the new figures like so let's open up this one let's open up this one and let's make a look so colors are even 9.5 is almost non-visible i don't see any any transparency anymore um, so we 
definitely have to go back to the code and change that. But here it is, um, it's working the way it was intended, it's transparent and um, you can change it around with the R config file or, or like they say, a GUI graphic user interface. So with this one. Let's see if our number is somewhere in, in here. Yeah, we, this I think was the number we used. Nine dual default opacity for active windows and so on. A little bit maybe for title bars, a little bit too much. Eight and whatever. You just have fun uh, changing all these figures. That concludes this tutorial about content and transparency. If I find a solution to change this little thing here, that uh, should also come in here some at some point in time, but it's not. So if I find it, I'll share it.